What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. We love these little 10 inch desktop signs. We love them. They're easy to make and they're great sellers. They're great for your indoor spaces. So you've got your outdoor door hangers and they're great, but sometimes you want a cute little project that you can put in on, put it on a tabletop. They're great for your desk. They're great for your front entry table, for your mantle. Lots of indoor places where you can hang these cute little 10 inch signs. And at the craft shows, these are great for a mid priced item in our booth. Right, so again, with the door hangers, you're talking somewhere around $55. You've got your smaller ornaments, which are somewhere around 12 or 15, but we want a mid-priced item, and these are perfect for that. These are somewhere around $25, $30, depending upon how much work you're putting into them, but I don't have a great way to display them. That's the same problem with our door corners from last week, so we're gonna try to come up with another solution this week. We started with the little mini sign posts, we did this project earlier this year and it was great. We love this little signpost. It's a great way to display these. The problem is that it's not a affordable option as an add-on. So if you're gonna purchase a mid-range price point here, a mid-range sign, then you need an affordable stand to go with it. This stand's cute, but it's probably not best to replicate and take them to the craft shows. Plus there's no good way to travel with them because yeah. you can't collapse them down. They're just gonna take up a lot of space. We also created this little stand. When we go to the breweries and we do our little paint nights at the breweries, we always do 10 inch signs and we give them this little stand to go with it, which is fine. It does display it, but there's really no interest there. Yeah, what is that? That's like a cake stand, <laughs> or like plate stand. Yes, it is like a little plate stand and it, it's fine, but it really doesn't add that extra level of uh, interest or wow. I really want this to be kind of a feature item rather than just the sign itself. I think if we made an affordable post, it'll be a feature item and an add-on that you'll want to include because you'll know you can use it over and over again with different signs. Well, it kind of makes that post interchangeable with all these little tenatures. Yes, yes, it So does. you hit that interchangeable that everybody is looking for too. So we've come up with a few different designs. We think we have some options on something that can be affordable to replicate, easy to put together, easy to travel with. So let's get started and see what we've come up with. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some quarter inch MDF because this is what we're gonna cut our posts out of. We're doing two different styles. And then of course, you've gotta do some painting or some sort of finish on them. Of course, you can stain this, but we're gonna use our Foxy Hughes paints. These are great indoor, outdoor paints, so they'll be perfect for your indoor projects too. It's just an acrylic paint. Then we're gonna use some Starbond Thick. One of them needs to be put together before it travels. Well, it's got some, some options. some accents. It's got it's some options. got some options. We can do this with a desktop laser board here. I see you've got a desktop laser board. Yes, these will fit inside the desktop laser. All desktop lasers? Not all desktop lasers. <laughs> a larger desktop laser, it'll fit all on one board. <laughs> we were just talking about this. He said 14 inches. Yes, I can get it. Yeah on something like your 12 by 19, your Glowforge, your Mir 5s, those boards, your what, quarter inch away? Yeah, like a quarter inch away. I think I got it down to like 12 by like 19. So the Glowforge is actually like 11.75. So uh, uh. just shy, it almost <laughs> fit, almost fit. <laughs> Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna bring this desktop laser board over to our Xtool P2 desktop laser and we're gonna cut out our posts. Now you can find these laser boards in our store at kngmaker.com. This is great MDF. It's great to cut through. It's not like the stuff that you find in the big box stores that's a little harder to cut through. I don't know what the difference is in glues. It's, you know what they say, the lighter the board, the easier the cut. <laughs> And Kim will meet you over in Creative Space and give you a tip on getting through quarter inch MDF on your desktop laser. The blue lines here are our score lines, the red lines are the cut lines, and a little tip when you're cutting MDF in your desktop laser and you're using Creative Space, you can say lower focus, and that's gonna help you get through the MDF a little bit better. We usually use two millimeters.
Henry. Now we paint. <laughs> Problem is, it's a new brush. It's a lighter handle. Harder to throw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep these kind of neutral. We just want to do one in black and one in white so that you can, they, you know, so it goes with everything. Yeah, kind of like blue jeans. Right, Neil? <laughs> Neil's hanging off to the side helping us film. He's our producer today. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Neil. <laughs> you say keep it rolling. How many of you, have you, how many of you know who Neil is? <laughs> and then mine goes like this. Yep. This is not needed. Oh, you can use it. You don't have to use it. Oh, is it the It'd base? Like, yeah. Is it like a foot? Mm hmm Makes it just a little bit taller. A little bit more of a baller. <sighs> yep. If I had a girl, she'd look good, and I'd call her. I'd call you all the time, babe. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I had a surprise for mine. I totally forgot. I mean, how'd you forget? That's what I was saying. And a few extras is oh, what yeah, I was saying. Oh yeah, there are a few extras. I, I totally forgot. We got, I got a surprise for you. <laughs> We're gonna bring it all together with some of this Starbond thick. Kim's doesn't need any gluing. Nope. Mine needs some preliminary gluing. So I'll glue my pieces that need to Just be Just a glued. couple. Just a couple pieces. So I'll glue my pieces. You can hang out. Mine is glued up, and I forgot to paint this side. I forgot that this was gonna be real. I actually forgot to paint that side too. Going forward, I'll probably assemble these and just spray them to cover up the black edge and everything going forward. Yeah, I think for that one. This one is great. It yeah. doesn't need that. You know, That one just... I might paint the board before I cut it out. Mm -hmm. Just paint them and then cut them all out. It's so simple. And there was a little assembly for mine. I forgot there's two layers on this base and I put a little, the ring. Just the ring little... that gets insets this piece here. It's hard to see from there. I put on the bottom, so it's optional. Got options. Now I just plug mine into the base. And then I have this top that just plugs in. And then I just plug in this little guy. There you go. Cute. Well, do I go ahead and assemble mine? Yeah, assemble yours. So mine is just two cross pieces here. Yeah. Oh, nope. I tried to leave room for paint. No, I thought you'd try and help me. I can do it. So this has a little cover to be built in. It's hard to see. It's in black. And then the little top goes on. And then its little finial here is also a cross brace. And it goes on here. There you go, yeah. Isn't that big, great? That one's a lot easier to put together than this one. We're gonna hang some signs to see how it goes. And then I really gotta stop touching it. I have black on my fingers. I'm just ruining this thing. He is. His looks terrible. Uh, I got a Needs a better paint one. job for sure. I'm just gonna spray it when we're done. Okay, that hangs nicely. How's yours? I like yours. Yours mm -hmm. is looking good. Mm -hmm. 
All right, but look, this is the best part of this one right here. So this little top comes off. And I made it so you could put little interchangeable things up there. Ooh, a little witch's hat. <laughs> put a little Santa hat up here. And just a Christmas ball. I mean, I could beef them up. Or that looks fine. Uh huh. I think they all look good. Yeah. So. Did you do Tom Turkey? I missed Tom oh, did, Turkey. Oh, I forgot to do Tom Turkey. He's, I painted him. He's got a lot going on, so I don't want you to miss him. Yeah, don't miss out Oops, on Tom. Sorry. There he goes. Yeah, let's put uh, this guy over here then. And you know what's great about these? They'll both break down. We can put them in the carts. I have a second one just to show you. Well, that one's up there. Just take the top and the bottom off. Ooh, this is snug. <laughs> <laughs> just simply remove the bottom. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a tight fit. But that's good because go. then when it's up every day. Yeah, yeah. It just breaks down. They'll fit in the cart. We could probably package them up. Yes, we will definitely package these and shrink wrap them onto a little piece of cardboard and they'll be ready to go. So if they say, oh, I want the scallop sign or I want the straight column sign, we'll be able to pull them right out. I don't have right to out. struggle with it to try to pull it apart and put it in their bag. Right, it'll already be painted and ready to go. All they really have to do is put it together, which hopefully is pretty simple to do. Yeah, well, I think that was just, that was a fluke, let's see. Tight. Well, bam. Back to display. I like them. I think they're cool. I think, I think that's a good add-on. Yes, I think it's a great add-on. And with it being just kind of one board, or this one ends up being two boards actually, uh, because they're, this column is three layers here so, and the base is a little bit bigger, so. I feel like it just gives it a little, just makes it feel real. Not just 1D, 2D I guess. It's 3D. <laughs> and so I think we can sell these for, I don't know, what would you say? $15 I as an add-on? I was thinking $15 as an add-on. Mm -hmm. Maybe 10 and 15. Mm -hmm. Have a $10 version and a $15 version. A little more goes into the glue of this one. Yeah, definitely a little, a little more, more wood. Yeah. And you, like I said, you could stain these. Maybe this one would be better just with some stain on them. I don't yeah, know. well, this one I am definitely gonna assemble and then just spray with the sprayer. I'm just gonna load the paint into the sprayer and hit a bunch at one time. I think that'll be a whole lot easier. It might be a couple of whoosh whoosh whooshes, but it'll be a whole lot quicker than rolling these and then trying to put it together. Look, isn't this so cute? And the great thing about the 10 inches is that these can be like for your desk at work, you can have like funny sayings on them and stuff like well, that. The things you might piece. not. Yeah, things you might not put on your front door would be perfect maybe for a desk sign well, or something. Mantle decor is up on the Pinterest like 1500%. Yeah, he said so. I had to say mantle decor because it's up on Pinterest. <laughs> we are about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it and make it again. And a big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. That is the best way to support this channel. Join us over on Patreon where the community over there is just top notch. I love you guys. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can balance this guy with sign. Ready? Mm-hmm. I think I gotta get it. Woo. Gotta move I the sign. I think you're gonna ruin my sign. I think we're good. 
Ooh, 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 with sign. Oh. Shoo. Step three. Ooh. Get wily. <laughs> Step three. Ooh. Now we get loose. Yeah, it was getting loose. It was ricocheting off of things. I swear I heard it. Pew pew. All right, ready? Ready. <laughs> 